This is the road to the tip. Hey dogs. That is smooth as. Go Bertha. Holy moly. Hey, so this is very cool. This is a little setup at Lakeland and they've- the Sculpture Park. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and it's quite windy today, as you can tell. But um, they've set this up with the footpaths in the same sort of array as the PDR and the other roads up north. Yeah, to like, almost like be the map. Yeah, to so- the tip. And then it shows you information. Yeah, and there's like a sculpture for each like main town, I guess. It's pretty cool. Like the, the whole setup's really nice. We'll take you for a walk around and show you. We've got this little information shelter here too, and it's worth stopping in and checking it all out. It gives you heaps of info of the cape itself, driving conditions, just everything you need to know. So stop in here at Lakeland, have your little breather before you hit on the PDR, and then uh, yeah, you can get all your info. Okay, so you hit Lakeland, you hang a left, and that takes you towards the PDR. I don't know if we're actually on the PDR now or whether it's further up. I don't know. This is the road to the tip though, so I'm assuming it's basically the PDR. Oh, so it ends up the PDR, but you were saying it's sealed a lot it's, of the way. I think it's sealed up until Laura, and then uh, it's like on and off. There's like patches of sealed, but mostly dirt, Right. I believe. Okay, so we'll keep you updated as to when we hit the dirt. Mm -hmm. But So the goal for today is to make it to Bramwell. It's a good probably eight hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But that's where our friends are, so we're hoping to make it there so we can do most of the tele trek with them. We're obviously not going to take the caravan on the tele trek, so <laughs> I don't know what the plan is yet. No, but we, we don't have a plan. No. Typical. But we'll let you know. <laughs> we'll let you know what we end up doing. All right, we've finally hit dirt. Uh, turns out it is quite a bit past Laura. Uh, I don't know how many k's. I didn't pay attention, but. It snuck up on us and it's look at the dust going ahead of us. <laughs> so, gonna jump out, uh, close the window on the canopy and get the fan going in there for the dogs and uh, turn on the DRS in the van. Hey dogs, it's gonna get a bit dusty. All right, here we go. First time using the mountain air dust reduction system. Make sure it's on in, because I had it sucking out the other day. There we go. Let's see how it works. Right, let's Hit the red dirt now. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty short lived. <laughs> Very, we're back on, back on the black top. It's about 20 seconds worth. <laughs> <laughs> but a bloody dusty 20 seconds worth. Yes. I guess it's a little taste of what to, what's to come. It got very red there too, so <laughs> just picture what Bertha looked like before because she'll never look the same. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how this dust reduction system yeah, goes though, yeah, so yeah. perfect conditions for trying it out. Now we haven't dropped any tyre pressures yet either because we did get told there's a lot of on and off bitumen and to be honest that dirt road is so smooth it must have been graded like very recently. Yeah, so. which we, our friends did say that the PDR is like really good at the moment so we shouldn't have any trouble with the van no. so. But we'll just, uh, we'll play it by ear and we'll just see how the conditions are. Alright I think it's time to knock some air out of these tyres. We've hit the dirt again and it's, look it's pretty good you can see. Like that is smooth as. But there's just washouts every now and then uh, from all the recent rain because we're in, we're just after the wet season. So look, we're just, I'll probably take 10 PSI out of all the tires for now just to smooth things up a little bit. And uh, once again, play it by ear from there. We've just come to our first like gnarly looking bit. Um, 
So hopefully Alex can get like find a way through. suspension that simplicity axles on the caravan just like I know that's the first thing we've done but it, it was really good <laughs> <laughs> dirt roads going along the PDR, look they're not fantastic but comparing them to Gib River they're pretty decent. Mm. Like a lot of the Gib was really corrugated. This isn't too corrugated at the moment. I don't know if it gets worse up north but like we've spoken to other people who have done the PDR before and they've said it was the worst corrugations they've been on and they've also done Gib River. So yeah. I don't know, roads change all the time, especially dirt roads, so hopefully it stays similar to this so far. It's not too bad, I don't think. Right, not that you can tell, but uh, we've turned off. The road straight ahead that way goes to Weeper. We've turned off and we're on our way to Bramwell Junction. 108 k's to go. Oh, been driving all day. Anyway, it's pretty good. I'm surprised with how much uh, bitumen there is. It's been sealed a lot of the way. The last, um, I don't know. 20 minutes of drive and it's all been sealed, so it's good. I think we're going on to dirt again now, and I think it might be for the rest of the way, but we'll find out. Nope, I was wrong. Back on sealed road. I don't know if this is good or bad, but it started to rain. The dust was gonna go down, but I don't know how many water crossings we've got now. So here we are at Bramwell Junction. So this is the roadhouse. Yes. And um, it looks pretty cool. Nice, beautiful, grassy areas. And um, our mates are here. Yeah, we weren't expecting them to be here, <laughs> but they. I messaged um, Talia this morning and said we're three hours away, so they've decided to wait for us. And it's a good thing they did, because I haven't told Alex this yet, but they were just like, not to do like a fair bit of the track. Yeah, oh, I've already talked to Toya. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they they did the Without first half of the telly and they struggled. Yeah. Um, so, so they've had to winch themselves out. We don't have a winch, so nah. yeah, that pretty much rules us out. But we'll do what we can. Yeah. So they're, they're going to do the second half tomorrow. They came back here because they knew we were coming here, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll just play it by ear. Yep. Sounds good to me. Would you have a look at the state of this car and van? Holy moly. He's a bit red. What did I say? I said it'll never look the same <laughs> and it won't. And it literally never will. Like caked with mud there. It's a little shadow. Lovely.
the real test is inside. Bit around the door. To be expected. Um, let's have a look. It's not too bad to be honest. No, there's not really any. No, it's... Oh, there's a, like a little, a fine, fine yeah. layer. If you look on the stove top. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's some there. It's obviously come in where the fridge is. Oh, yeah, the fridge is. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but yeah, and it looks pretty good. What else has happened? The bed's moved. Really, though, she's held up pretty well. Yeah, maybe. It's done good. Real good. It towed amazing. I never had this suspension before. I'm just impressed. It is so good. Like for a 14 year old van with this really basic suspension, it's amazing. So good. Good morning. So we obviously stayed here at Bramwell Roadhouse. It was really cool. It's a good joint here. Just nice big open grassy areas. Just pull up anywhere. We got these little shelters which um, Clayton and Talia slept under in their swags. New owners here and they're really, really nice. So definitely come in and check this joint out. I think we're just gonna hook the van up and start heading towards the northern section of the telly. Sorry. As you're breaking everything. <laughs> So yeah, northern section of the telly, it's the easier part because um, these guys did the this end, the southern end of the telly yesterday and it was like hectic. Yeah, they were yeah. like, you're not doing it without a winch. Yeah, so. they pretty much winched themselves out of every situation because it's so wet, still so early in the season. So yeah. Unfortunately, apparently there's not even really anyone we can go to watch doing it. Oh yeah, true, because there's no one up here. Mm. You see in this campground, it's empty. Um, I didn't realise well that early that there's no one here. But anyway, we'll get packed up, show you where we end up, I guess. So this is the start of the old telly track. And the campground that we stayed at last night is like literally just there. So we were unsure about it being this close, but there you go, it's right here. Right here? Yeah, <laughs> why not? You're losing your dress there. Yeah, I know. You might get more than you bargained for. Awesome. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you later. We've officially been. Officially been? Yep. <laughs> sticker there. They're cool for you to stick your sticker on their front sign. So yes, we wouldn't. We did, we did ask. We definitely asked and checked. <laughs> but yeah, good place. Make sure you stop in there, right? Eh? Here's the situation. We got two nice big Y62 patrols in front of us and then the little ranger. <laughs> <laughs> With a Cara Mansion on the back. Yeah, so we'll try to keep up without being silly. Like that's the main thing up here is drive to the conditions. Don't be in a rush. Even... And if you if you feel nervous about something, probably be more on the reserved side. Yeah, so like yesterday, it took us longer than what the maps were saying because we're just taking it easy. It was raining. You just, you can't see half these washouts coming up here. So. Yeah, there's a lot of dips and things and they really sneak up on you. <laughs> yeah, so just, yeah, take your time. No rush up here. Oh, that is why you drive to conditions here. Obviously, we don't know what's happened there at all, but... Corner, a bit hot and it's lost it out the outside. There you go, that's yeah. what they reckon happened. <laughs> yeah, because there's like, these roads are really good, but they're loose so if you're hooking and you just if you hit the brakes you pretty much you're just gonna skid across the top of them like it looks fantastic but deceiving so there is a bit of a campsite what is it about 2.7 k's from Fruit yeah. Bat Falls well we're on um the Telegraph Road and we're at the exit to go turn off to Fruit Bat Falls yeah so we've just parked the van um We'll bring the dogs with us. We'll set them up in the car with the window open and fan on and water and food and everything. 
um, and then we just won't be very long <laughs> at the falls, but we'll go and check it out. Have a go at it. Fruit back balls. Bucket list. Hey, what do you think of that, kids? It was awesome. That's so good, hey. Bucket list item. It's probably the tenth time we've said that. Yeah. But, but it is. It's like one of the main things you come up here to do. Oh, definitely, definitely. And I don't know if any like it is doable without doing the tele track. Fruit Bat Falls, like you can just drive in. Yeah, yeah. The, the track in's quite easy. Telegraph Road goes straight past it. And there is trailer parking, so if you've got um like an off-road camper trailer or whatever that you're towing, you can take that in there. We probably could have actually taken the van into here. If we were now a little bit we more know. adventurous. Yeah, but it's um, fine where it is. Yeah, so I think the plan is now we're gonna go back, have some lunch, and then possibly check out Elliot and Twin Falls, but um, we have heard that it's a bit difficult to get through at the moment, so. Bit of water, bit of water over the road, apparently. Yeah, well. See what happens. But the dogs were really good in the back of the car. Yes, they were. I like I came up because I was stressing out a little bit. It's not like me stressing out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I came up and checked it out, and Bobby was just chilling. Cooper was did not look stressed at all. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of stuck my arm in, and it was cooler in there than it was outside. So I'm happy. I'm happy good. with how that went. For we the know first we go. can do it. So that was yes. our first experience doing it. Yes. Definitely put me at ease a bit. What are we having for lunch? Jalapeno popper bagels. <laughs> they are so good. So what is it? It's like cream cheese mixed with some chopped jalapeno peppers, some garlic powder and onion powder and bacon on a bagel. A bit fancy for out here, isn't it? I don't feel like it is. It's a little bit fancy. But I'm glad. Mm. So we went up far into the telly track to go to Elliot Falls and we've come to a creek crossing already, so let's check it out. New bull bar if you want one. <laughs> Might grab that for later. Holy. I don't know if you could see that, but it's like d d I don't think we'll be going down there. If we do this one, I'm not gonna be in the car. No, I don't think we'll do that one. Good. I see. All right, this is the second possible track. Yep. Okay, but it's too scary. I would not, yeah, I'd not be in there. Um, no, that's not a track. We're not doing that. <laughs> Try number three. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Because the, the causeway. Mm. People must stop down there and not realise or they just want the challenge. So I did not realise but this is part of the telly now. So turning off to Fruit Bat is not the telly and then coming towards Elliot and Twin Falls is the telly track. So we've got our first little challenge here. It's not too bad.
So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That's one of the old telegraph lines, one of the poles rather, from the original telly. It is flowing hard and fast. <laughs> It's all good. I'll save her. Hey, this way. This way. Aaron. <laughs> Don't dilly dally. <laughs> Don't worry about your boob. Your boobs will end up down the next waterfall. Okay, grab onto those sticks. You'll get rushed. Grab on. Grab on. Grab on. <laughs> hey, I told you to grab on. <laughs> You can't let go. <laughs> here, grab one over here. Other rock. those flies <laughs> uh, so here we are guys we're set up in just a gravel pit south jardine <laughs> quarry quarry <laughs> <laughs> it's good there's no one here there's was, um three other blokes just camping over there in swags but just nice big open area if it does rain though it'll be bad because there's a lot of Red Bull dust here and yeah if it gets wet it's gonna be sloppy but it's no rain predicted anyway um, today was awesome mm. hanging out at um, fruit bat falls Elliot falls and twin falls all such good places flowing heavily with water um, yeah. and look at the end of the day that's all of the telegraph track that we're gonna do that little section um, I'm disappointed I really wanted to do it uh, but we're not set up for it. We've got the dogs. Erin doesn't want to do it, do you? I don't really want to camp on the track personally. Alice can come yeah. do that as a boys trip some other time. Yeah, so that's my new goal now is get back up here, boys trip, swag it, do the track, the whole track. But look, it is what it is at the moment because there's so much water around that all the crossings just aren't passable. Yeah. Like, or not all the crossings, sorry, like Nolan's is not passable at the moment and um, I think Cockatoo Creek or something like that. Yeah. So, like, the, uh, our mates where we they tried to do a lot of it and they did some, but yeah, it was just hectic. So. Plus, I think, like we said, we we don't have a winch or anything. We're just yeah. not really properly set up for hectic four wheel driving. No. Um, and they've like having done it, they've said that they needed that stuff, so they had to winch out of pretty much everything. So. Yeah. So that'll be some other time. Do the the hectic four wheel driving on my own. Or with the kids. I know about it. Um, but yeah, so really the plan now is, is we'll stay here for a night. Um, we'll meet back up with the crew because they're camping on the telly tonight. We, we can't do that with the caravan. Um, 
and we'll head over the Jardine and go explore the very top of Cape York, which I'm excited for. Yeah, I think we're the plan is to get to Seashore yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, good fishing there apparently. So mm -hmm. hopefully get the tinny in if it's not too windy. But yeah, this is awesome. This is like our first sort of bit of downtime. It is nice. I'm like <laughs> been in there reading my book that I got for Mother's Day. Yeah. It's, um, it's been full on. Because the flies are pretty friendly out here. Yeah, there's heaps of them. <laughs> I'm ready to just honestly go and have a shower and just yeah. chill. <laughs> but this is awesome. It's so cool up here. Mm, it is. Anyway, that'll be us for tonight. Go explore tomorrow.